similar, but what would probably make a difference is the height. 5'11 for De La Hoya and 5'8 for Desi Ford. Okay, so we are set to go, and uh, let's get our intros right now. This is a 132 pound division bout. Our referee from Utica, New York, Tony Filippelli. In the red corner, representing the South from East Los Angeles, California, Oscar De La Hoya. In the blue corner, representing the West, from Alliance, Ohio, Desi Ford. All right, we are set to go here for round one. Our only, the only thing that isn't surprising so far about the boxing is that Oscar De La Hoya got a big cheer when he was announced. That much we expected. Into round one for what, as Ray said, should be good if for no other reason than uh, the fact that De La Hoya has never fought Ford before. And uh, Ford has come on strongly in recent times, winning the Golden Gloves Championship this year. And uh, he's a young man to be reckoned with. De La Hoya, a guy that, uh, not to overhype it, but they think uh, most of the people that he's got the whole package, an 18-year-old who's already twice won the U.S. Amateur Championships. Not to overwork a theme, oh, excuse me, Ray, not to work over, overwork a theme, but when the amateur officials and the, pe the powers that be get a feeling that a guy is a real comer, does that help him in, the, in the, the way he progresses? That's true, because when a guy has a certain style, a certain makeup, that they know will be very effective against the Eastern Bloc countries. Nine times out of ten, that guy will remain. It's tough to beat him because he has a style to beat the other guys. Classic example of that in your days, not only you, but even more so than you probably, Howard Davis. Well, Howard, Howard Davis had the perfect style because he, was, he had lateral movement, good hand speed. And in fact, here at Desert Ford, Ford has the style also. Is that a pointy duck? No, that was a warning for them to mix it up more. Okay, it looked like it might have been a, ca a, point. It was a caution for mixing it up. But uh, I thought maybe we had a, a point already deducted. Not that it would be a first here, believe me. <laughs> We've got plenty of those. Round one, it is scheduled for three, of course, as they all are. In the lightweight division, 132 pounders. Oscar De La Hoya in the green. He's the, the local lad from Los Angeles. And Desi Ford from Alliance, Ohio. And no, Barry, I will not make any Lucy and Desi jokes, okay? <laughs> he probably expected me to. If you look at De La Hoya, he has the style of a professional fighter. Very economical, he's taking mm -hmm. his time. He's picking his shots. Whereas at Desi Ford, he's utilizing the ring. A lot of movement. And De La Hoya landed a good left hook a moment ago. The warning from the caution of the referee for the lack of action was more... I think directed at Desi Ford. Referee is Tony Filippelli, an experienced amateur referee, as they all are here at this competition. De La Hoya using that height advantage. You hit on it earlier in the reach as well. Well, and also Desi Ford is trying to get cute here, put those hands down, and with a guy with the power of De La Hoya, that's not really the smart thing to do here. Now, one thing Desi Ford has been able to do is land that left hook as De La Hoya is pulling away. Let's see if he can continue to do it. There it is again. Caution to Ford about getting his head too low. That cost Sergio Reyes earlier on today as he was disqualified against Sean Fletcher. Twice he was cautioned about that, warned about it, and had a point taken away. Good first round for Oscar De La Hoya. That, of course, was a slip, not a knockdown. And we sneak into Oscar De La Hoya's corner. Give me the water. Okay. 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 Double the jab, step over, shoot the right hand. All right. Now work threes, fours, and fives this time. You got yes, it? Okay. That's your round, maybe, baby. 
All you got to do is just stay on top of it. Be more quicker with your hands inside. All right. You're getting a little anxious with your feet. That's why you feel, yeah. yeah? You got it? Come on, suck it up deep. Well, then deep. You got it? Busy, real busy this time. Showing what box. Take a look is. at where uh, there was a slip called on uh, Desi Ford. It was called and just slipped. Yep. Not a knockdown. Certainly no punches landed. We head into round two. Oscar De La Hoya in the green. Desi Ford in the red. Ford, the 22-year-old De La Hoya from Los Angeles. He is 18 years old. Two, the uh, winner of the United States uh, Championships is De La Hoya. And uh, the National Golden Gloves champ is Desi Ford. Al Bernstein along with Sugar Ray Leonard. Hoping you're enjoying the beginning of our... Not only our boxing coverage, but all of our Olympic festival coverage. Right hand sends him down, and it is a knockdown. Desi Ford sent down by a big right hand by De La Hoya. Now remember, in amateur competition, they say a knockdown counts only for one punch. De La Hoya is showing what he's made of. Two-time national champion. He's beaten Eastern Bloc countries. He's beaten the Cuban fighters. He's showing what he's made of. Well, he's a very powerful puncher. And you can see that when he connects, he does damage. Desi Ford, who is a good boxer and has been boxing pretty well, but sometimes you can only stay away so long from that power. If we get a shot here, you notice the way when Ford moves, his stance so spread apart. That's why a lot of times he's able to go down. Balance problem. You know. Balance. Plus he's moving, so he's so anxious now. He needs to slow it down a little bit more. Near the halfway point here in the uh, second round, a round in which we've seen Desi Ford go down from the power of Delahoya. Good jab by Ford. Look at the combinations by Oscar Delahoya. Great what a punch. What a hook by Delahoya. You can tell he's only 18 because there are moves he's still working on, but certainly a polished boxer at this point. Stop, stop. Caution to De La Hoya for holding the back of the head. So far, this youngster from L.A. has been all that he was cracked up to be in his first Olympic Festival appearance, as is the case with Ford. Both men are performing well, but De La Hoya has just had too much power. Desi Ford landing some here and there as we have a half minute left in the round, but not able to land with the effectiveness of De La Hoya. Big right by De La Hoya. Hey. So here in round two, Oscar De La Hoya scores a knockdown, and more important even than that, lands a whole bunch of punches against Desi Ford We'll see if it can continue as we head into the third. The third round underway here. A minute gone, and Oscar De La Hoya in the green is ripping Desi Ford with some terrific left hooks and right hands. He had Ford down in the second. Boy, a series of low blows by Ford that uh, I'm surprised the uh, referee Filippelli didn't warn him for that or caution him. The power of De La Hoya, Ray, is impressive. Well, you can see the strength that's being zapped out of Desi Ford. And I'll tell you, I'm not sure De La Hoya yet, as we're halfway through the round, gets as much leverage into that left hook as he will as he gets uh, more experience. And older and more mature, yeah. because like now, he's... he's turn his body the proper way he backs off to uh, examine his work yeah and then goes back on the attack a very poised performer and De La Hoya continues that body work which has been impressive Desi Ford who as we said is the National Golden Gloves champion is one of the better 132 pounders in the United States but he has run up against a young man who is just what people say he is 
real good. Now, I'll be uh, curious to see whether or not De La Hoya works out with professional fighters because he has that kind of poise. Sometimes that does it, doesn't it? it when makes you're sense. an amateur and you work out with some of the pros, you pick up some of the, the better aspects. The better aspects. Because sometimes it's bad because you have a tendency to wait, which you really can't. You only have three rounds. That's true. But in his case, he is careful not to uh, to be. He is economical with his punches, but not so economical that he doesn't punch a lot. Well, round three is winding to a close. None too soon for Desi Ford. Really frustration on his part as he looked into his corner like, boy, I, I just can't figure this guy out. I can't stop those punches from raining on me. And Oscar De La Hoya starts out his Olympic festival with a bang. <laughs> Terrific performance for that young man and barring some bizarre turn of events, he would likely be the winner and move on to the final round in the 132 pound division and Barry guess what Oscar De La Hoya is a good one take it away yeah I want to tell you he's a good one as a matter of fact we opened this program by saying I really believe there are two guys who we're going to be watching today who have the potential to be champions as a professional in Oscar De La Hoya before now remember in amateur competition it's only counts for one punch but it's a good indication of how De La Hoya dominated this bout over a very experienced and good amateur so let's go up and get the decision In this 132-pound division bout, the judges' decision, the winner on points, 37-6, in the red corner, Oscar De La Hoya. His dad, happy as are many of his partisan fans who uh, are neighbors of Oscar De La Hoya. And this 18-year-old shows us just why many believe he is a front-runner to be our Olympic representative in the 132.